Thank you, Prime Minister Hansen. Now let's give the floor to Mr. Imran Khan, President of the PDI and Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. His Excellency, Mr. Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party and President of the People's Republic of China. Distinguished guests, representatives of political parties, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great privilege to share my thoughts today at the CPC and World Political Parties Summit. On behalf of the government and people of Pakistan, I would like to convey a heartfelt facilitations to His Excellency President Xi Jinping and the Chinese people on the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China. I am confident that our discourse in the summit would shed new light on the role of political parties in advancing the well-being of people. Founding of the CPC in 1921 was a seminal event in world history. The vision of CPC leadership ignited the spirit of the Chinese nation and encouraged them to wage an epic struggle for liberation from foreign occupation. Chairman Mao Zedong and subsequently Deng Xiaoping guided the Chinese people in reclaiming national dignity, self-pride, self-respect, and China's rightful place in the world. For decades, the CPC's spirit instilled new vigor and hope beyond China's borders. It inspired people of the colonized nations and contribute, contributed to the end of colonialism. CPC's astonishing success rests in the people-centric approach of its development philosophy, its inclusive development philosophy. It has remained committed to serve the people and prioritize their well-being and interests. CPC's achievements of all-round all round national development, poverty alleviation, anti-corruption campaign and nation building are truly remarkable. It's something what we hope to emulate in Pakistan. Excellencies, CPC's achievements have opened new vistas of thought for political parties across the world. CPC has proven that attainment of political power is primarily meant for bringing a transformation in the lives of people and making them masters of their destiny. Indeed, political parties can only enjoy public support and legitimacy if they continue to serve the people selflessly. President Xi's visionary leadership has played a pivotal role in China's transformation and continued rise. His people-centric philosophy has made a critical difference. As recently, China has eliminated extreme poverty, one of the greatest achievements in the history of mankind. And at the same time, it has achieved the goal of building a moderate, prosperous society, a goal that it, the CPS, uh, CPC had set itself. Pakistan supports China's effort to safeguard world peace, contribute to global development, and preserve international order. President Xi's vision of shared prosperity through BRI has made a major impact on global sustainable development, thus proving his, credential, his credentials as a world statesman. Under President Xi's stewardship, China has achieved major success in people's war against the COVID-19 pandemic. And his declaration of making the COVID-19 vaccine a global public good is reflective 
of his compassion and fairness. Excellencies, CPC's mission of great re rejuvenation of Chinese nation and PTI's vision of New Pakistan reflect the respective aspirations of the people of our two countries. I formed the Pakistan Tariq in SAF 25 years ago on the principles of accountability, transparency, meritocracy, Islamic welfare, and this to break the vicious cycle of elite capture, corruption, and nepotism. Pakistan Tariq Saf remains committed to its original mission of establishing rule of law and setting up a society that is humane and that has compassion. Today, the ISAS program launched by PTI government last year is one of the leading social protection pro program in Asia. In its second phase, we envisage to provide social protection to 8 million of our poorer citizens. We have made universal health coverage a priority in our health sector reforms. Under the ISAS Sahulat program, we aim to provide free of cost, free of cost health insurance, initially to the families living below the poverty line, and subsequently to all families that are in the provinces governed by the PTI. Our 10 billion tree tsunami project reflects our commitment to countering environmental degradation and reversing the biodiversity loss. We are ready to contribute more than our share to protect this invaluable planet and help it it's help it heal it from centuries of neglect. In the wake of emerging global and regional environment, Pakistan has re-collaborated its priorities from geopolitics to geoeconomics. China Economic Pakistan Corridor, China Pakistan Economic Corridor, the, CP, uh, the CPAC, the flagship project of BRI, complements Pakistan's renewed effort of this geoeconomic shift with emphasis on economic integration and regional connectivity. Moreover, in line with my government's green vision, which aligns perfectly with President Xi's vision for green China, turning CPEC into green CPEC is a priority for Pakistan. Our abiding friendship with China and the CPEC complement this vision of peace for ourselves and for others, and shared prosperity and common development for our region and the world. Pakistan and China are iron brothers. We support each other on issues of our respective core interests. In an era of complex and profound changes at global and regional level, our all-weather strategic cooperative partnership remains a strong anchor for peace, progress, and prosperity. This year also marks the 70th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between Pakistan and China. Our two nations are celebrating this historic milestone in a befitting manner. I am confident that the year 2021 would provide new vigor and vitality to our time-tested friendship. Excellencies, we must join hands to advance the noble cause of peace and development, welfare of our people, and building community of shared future for all mankind. I thank you. Thank you, President Imran Khan. Now, please, I would like to invite Mr. Philip.